Today I'm going to be showing you how I grind toxins on the cheap old bench grinder. I think I bought this thing for 10 bucks out of a farmer's field. It was mine whether it worked or whether it didn't. And that was years ago. I still have it. It works great. So the thing to know is obviously you cannot do this with a short piece of tungsten because it will like shoot backwards or it'll go into your finger or something. So don't do anything like that. The other thing is tungsten gets extremely hot as you're grinding it as you can imagine. So therefore it's best to hold it further down or if it's a shorter but not too short piece you can only grind on it for a little bit then you have to give it a second to cool so what I do is one of these numbers here you can see if you look at my right hand I'm actually rotating this tungsten uh, a few things to keep in mind we want the grinding marks to go this way it's not this way because that makes the arc do funny things likewise we do not want any flat spots on this because that also makes the arc do funny things so therefore I won't be hopefully won't be contacting the grindstone with this unless I'm also rolling it in my fingers as such. So let's see here. So I'm going to stop and reposition my finger so I can roll it more. The other thing that's important is, as you can see, you need a very flat grinding wheel to do this. If you do not have one, that's okay. You can buy one of those uh, conditioning bars, whatever that thing was technically called. I bought one a couple years ago and it worked great. So you can see this is still pretty flat. Of course, they don't SIG weld every day. But whatever the case, you get one of those, use it to flatten out your uh, grinding wheel, and then you can just go back and forth and back and forth. Now, it's worth noting I do have a proper tungsten grinder. However, most of the time I use this because it's faster than setting it up, and since this doesn't require any grinding wheels, it's cheaper to run. So if you can see that point, tis what we want. Now, you can taper this to personal preference. Uh, you know, you can give it a longer taper or a shorter taper or whatever. It's just, it's, at that point, it's whatever you want. Alright, so now we've discussed how to do this with uh, some pretty cheap tools that I think most of us probably already have, or like I said, you can buy a good use for like 10 bucks if you get lucky. So now you know the right way and the wrong way to deal with the really the only problem with this short of personal injury. So uh, hopefully this video helps you. Have fun. Uh, how do I always wind these down? I've only had one cup of coffee. Have fun. I don't know, whatever it is. Work hard, stay safe.